Welcome back. Well, it is one of the most common artificial sweeteners in Australia, and this month the World Health Organisation is set to label the additive a potential cancer risk. So what products currently in your pantry or your fridge are at risk? To tell us more, General Practitioner Dr Jamal Rifi joins us. Good morning, Doctor. Thanks for your time. Good morning. This ingredient we're talking about is called aspartame. Uh, what is it? It's a sugar substitute. It's a substance that was discovered in 1965 by an American chemist, James Schlater, and in 1974, it was approved by the US uh, FDA for human consumption. It grew in popularity over the year because as a sugar, which is, sugar is carbohydrate. Every gram of sugar has four calorific uh, value. Mm -hmm. Actually, aspartame has no calorific values right. whatsoever. And that is the difference. So if we're talking about one teaspoon, it has five gram, which is 20 calories. Mm -hmm. A tablespoon, it has 15 gram of sugar, which is 60 calories. Now, a Diet Coke has no calorie whatsoever, while Classic Coke has 150 calories. Mm -hmm. So consumers now, they are actually weight conscious, so they would need to reduce their calorie intake. So right now, it's actually a lot of, you know, diet drink, low calorie drink will be consumed. So is that what it's in? Diet drinks, um, artificial sweeteners, that sort of thing? Is that they're the, they're the products we're talking about? Definitely. Uh, first of all, it is as a sugar substitute. So you can actually use as a powder for people to actually put it on their food or on their drink so they don't have calories. At the same time, it can be added to cereal, but most soft drink and you know, other drinks, they are actually containing the aspartame the diet. Anything that may have low calorie, zero calorie, or mm. that's, diet. That's definitely. a lot of people, doctor. A lot of people have, you know, go for their diet coke fix. Yeah. Yes. How dangerous is aspartame? So far, based on the evidence that we, we know, since 1980, aspartame is safe. Mm -hmm. And we know that for a fact. There are the rumors that's actually been leaked information that in two weeks time, the World Health Organization may classify it as a possible carcinogen. But the confidential report is not out there yet. It's gonna be out in two weeks. And what happened, World Health Organization, they classify all product or some situation as carcinogen, which is the highest, mm. probably carcinogen, which is lower, mm. and possibly carcinogen. And they leak the information that aspartame may be possibly carcinogen, and the rest is not classifiable, which is safe for consumption. Mm. And this a debate has been going for years and years. And we know for a fact that the, in the United States, they say it's actually it's very safe to consume 50 microgram of aspartame per body weight mm. every day for a long time to be at risk. Hey, so doctor, we shouldn't worry exactly. too much just yet. Do you know what's safer? Water. Drink, wa drink water <laughs> on your yeah, lunch look, break. <laughs> listen to Dr. Yeah, Clint, kids. Thank you so much for joining us <laughs> this morning. Pleasure, so thank much. you. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?